So this is my ELS, or would be ELS equipped MyFord. Whereas we have stepper motors on set and X axis. We have retained the use of the rack feed and also hand wheel and hand wheel here. I have metric screws. I have also metric dials here. The metric screws are 10 mil by 2 mil lead. Um, they are to be controlled by this ELS2, which is a there we go, a controller box. So of course. This is the brains in the unit. I'm going to mount an encoder here, just um, from the spindle down here, so that you can read the speed from the spindle. And um, then the controller will, of course, output the correct amount of um, feed, or let's say if, if I would do threading. The, the main thing about this is the, uh, the ability to replace the gear train. That was the main thing for me. The um, cross axis, I'm not sure if I really would need or, uh, or like, but anyway, I bought that too. That of course enables you to make different kinds of shapes automatic. But uh, I think the main thing is this so this is just one of the possibilities to mount it on brackets here now i've used of course the pom i have here which is uh, over there the stack of pom so in this case um, this is just then one possibility mount it here on the tiltable bracket so I can I can slacken the belt if needed here I've just opted to have a, a jockey wheel what you are looking at here is an adapter block in POM I have now started the project on my Myford stepping motors and uh, I used POM to mount the stepping motors just simply blocks screwed onto the end of the of the slide here will be on the table I mean will be housings for the motor I'm just skimming. I'm just skimming the last of the top here, and I use this vise, which uh, I think is quite nice. You just um, mount it as two sliding blocks, so you just mount it like in between here. You clamp it in, and then you have adjusting downwards pressure so you just fix them like this and then you tighten the screws here i think these are nice nicely made and nicely just tumping down also I'm just skimming off very very lightly on this Already set zero, so I know. I just want to take a few hundreds of a millimeter down, so we'll set it at, I guess, five will do.
that's a kind of a nice tool to use. Like that. Don't take much pressure on POM. So this will go here. I have enough room for this one also. This is now flush with the top of the table. Okay. And the pulley will go on an extension here. I could have used a longer screw, but I did not have any. So just pin one center bolt in there. And then probably down, I guess, because we should have room enough. So here yeah, might be that we have to set it there. Mm. We'll see. Uh, I've uh, modified also the, the cross slide, so I have knots here and here. They are like, you can imagine, connected, but mounted further apart. So the still principle applies that you can adjust position behind uh, between them to take up the backlash may have taken a little bit I mean that they are firm but anyway so that's um, that's my take on it apart from that um, it's a it's a Myford MK1 normal Myford MK1 there's one more thing I've done namely in here to I mounted uh, another type of pulley here. I bought it uh, as a four-step pulley to mount to the, what is it? Five eighths uh, of a shaft here. But it is not the same, um, let's say um, one to two, three and four is not the same as four, three, two, one here. So it doesn't really match up, so I have to redo the the belt tensioning for each time I move it so I have also my my homemade um, POM pulley here in case but as I'm using um, a VFD I don't think there will be much uh, need for this uh, belt uh, change if I have it on the highest or next highest I will still with the uh, 1.5 times or something 70 80 hertz match the, um, the maximum here so uh, the only thing is then that the, that um, the counter shaft moves uh, with more rpm but yeah I've yet to to get any kind of temperature increase on the or at least not to, uh, to any specific high degree here on the on the bearings here these are of course the needle roller bearings so they work yeah so far for the mechanics I've yet as I said yet to, to mount the encoder will do and then um, get back to you in the next video about that plus of course the the power supplies and the further on yeah not to forget for those of you interested in this device the ELS this comes from a company called Rocketronics so I can put a link to that also in the comment